All right, so back to the TTR-125. Again, this is an O3 TTR-125, not an L, not an E. So it's a small wheel, non-electric start, kickstart only TTR-125 that has lived a full life. Looks like it's seen many crashes on the road. It was torn apart by the previous owner, or maybe two previous owners ago. I don't know what story I got that was correct. But anyway, I acquired it for 300 bucks. I was just gonna do the last video I did, pulled the, the engine apart and diagnosed what I needed to get it running. Uh, since then I decided I'm gonna do a full build on this. So I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna do the engine to 150 cc's, the BBR kit, cam, bigger carb, exhaust. And suspension wise, I'm going YZ80 forks. And that's an L swing arm, so it's an inch longer. My only concern is I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell in the video, probably. The rake on that front end, because it's a trail bike, to slow down the steering, it's raked out a little bit, so it's not as darty in the front end, because trail bikes are, generally speaking, for beginners. So, <clears throat> I found a guy. I'm actually gonna drive tomorrow morning um, down to that little lovely piece of America that is Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, Southern Ohio area, and, uh, there's a guy down there that does the steering stem or steering angle correction on these. He cuts the steering stem off and welds it back on. I believe it's three degrees less than what, what it is. So it, it'll match the YZ85s. So he also does something in the rear. But I don't know if I'm gonna let him do it or if I'm just gonna do it. If you move that shock mounting hole back and down, that along with that L swing arm, that should match the rear to the front suspension. But the idea here is so that I have a bike that rides like a YZ85 suspension wise, but an air cooled four stroke 150 CC power. So it should, uh, you know, in theory be super reliable, very low maintenance, but yet enjoyable on the track with that suspension. Now the forks, obviously I'm gonna probably do race tech springs and maybe valving to beef them up a little. I'm gonna do, if I stick with that stock TTR rear shock, I'm gonna do a BBR heavy spring. Thinking about going to the YZ80 shock. I don't know, I'm gonna see this guy that I'm going to see tomorrow to do the steering stem, has built quite a few of these and has a pretty nice one. So I'm gonna look at his and see what he did. If he went to a YZ80 shock, that's probably what I'm gonna do if I like the way it looks. But sticking with the 14 inch rear, 17 inch front, I have, a 17 inch YZ80 front rim coming with the disc brake. I also have the full disc brake assembly for the front end coming and an axle. So if anybody needs full front end, the tires stay in because the tires like brand new. I'm keeping that, but everything else in that front end, including the fender, levers, kill switch, bars, everything could be owned very cheap because I'm not going to want it sitting around my garage. But yeah, so here's the teardown so we can go see that guy tomorrow. cheap if anybody needs it stock pipe cheap if anybody needs it but yeah of the pile of parts not a whole lot's going back on but now just some little stuff wiring uh cdi box coil the brake pedal shifter kickstand and foot pegs i'll get some of that stuff off there just so that it's just a bare frame to travel down there with
form stripped, taking it down to see the guy in the morning about welding the, cutting off the steering stem and welding it back in at less of an angle to slow it down. Here's a pile of parts that if all goes well, we'll win races this summer. So it's 4.17 a.m. on the road, heading to get this steering stem welded. Oh, my wife thinks I'm nuts, and I think she's right. Well, it's 8.02, and I am just a few minutes away. So, four-hour drive before 8 o'clock to get down here and get this head tube welded. So here's the final product. After Doug Flinner cuts that head tube off and welds it back on. I mean, he gusseted it up real nice. He does an awesome job. So that took a couple degrees out of that head tube angle. So it should make it ride more like a YZ85. Um, now I gotta cut, I'm gonna cut the kickstand mount off and the shifter. I'm gonna go shift her straight to the engine and it's gonna be too tall for the kickstand and to be honest I'm not gonna to try to find an L kickstand or anything like that just, this bike's just gonna get raced so I don't really care about the kickstand I'd rather not have it anyway so that's what we're gonna do now tubes Cerakoted black they have some corrosion on them I'm gonna scuff that down obviously they're gonna have sandblast and powder coat them but uh, fork seals are leaking like crazy which I mean, it's 2001 YZ80 fork that probably never got any service but they need rebuilt anyway because I'm gonna put a heavier spring rate in them and lower them an inch but that's the process or this is gonna be the process of tearing these forks down it's probably the last thing I put in this next video of the TTR this is just fork teardown. All right, so I got it apart. Just get the wiper, slide it out. And then there's this little retainer clip in there. It rides, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, in that groove. And then you can just pull the fork leg out, kind of like a slide hammer. It just pops out with the seal and these spacers. Now, I'm not taking them off the legs yet because I have a rebuild kit coming and I want to keep track of the order they're in. So I'm not going to take them apart just yet. Um, these factory springs are going to get replaced with probably Race Tech and a 6'6 spring rate, much heavier. And I'm going to go a little bit shorter. Um, there's also a spacer, I believe, that goes in here to uh, drop you an inch. I need to go an inch lower on the fork legs. But that's how you get the forks apart. Pretty simple process. Things are moving along with the teardown. Also getting some parts in. That's a 98YZ80 front wheel and hub. It has the disc on it too. This is from, I think, an 80-something YZ, the front brake assembly. Needs a hose, but it was cheap on eBay, so I grabbed it. The BBR cradle also came in. So things are moving along. I'm getting some parts lined up. Right now it's just a pile of parts, but... Hopefully soon we'll have a bike starting to take shape.
Thanks for watching. Follow along, subscribe to see what the final product looks like.